is Pierce Morgan the next Tucker Carlson? Greetings and welcome back to Here's What I Heard. I'm Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. Don't forget, every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say. So call me and tell them like it is. Also, please give us a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share, and a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Yes, yes, I know, I know, I haven't made a video in quite a while, about a month or two, but I saw something today and I couldn't resist and I had a little bit of extra time. I probably don't, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> so this week, or this for this video, I'm going to talk about the latest Pierce Morgan takedown. Uh, actually, I'm surprised that he they haven't tried to make him the next Tucker Carlson, although he's getting too close to the truth, more than likely his Fox affiliation will probably terminate sooner than we think. However, everyone's talking about this stupid controversy, which probably won't matter in 10 years, much less 100 years, about Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the new remake that actually takes jobs away from dwarves by the only dwarf in the picture. So, without further ado, Let's talk to some of the people that might have been involved in this or are just talking about it because everyone else is. Pierce Morgan and crew. Dylan Bozel, who played Hornswoggle, the leprechaun in WWE between 2006 and 2016. And by the podcaster and commentator, James Barr. All right, uh, James, you've got a no problem with what Disney are doing. You think this is progressive and inclusive and all those moaning about it should shut up. I think you should live in the 1930s actually, Piers, because that's where you belong, really, listening to what you were just saying then. Also, I'm going to quote Warwick Davis because he said he finds it patronizing when people are offended on his behalf. Mm -hmm. And you've just... <laughs> One of the very first things he says is calling the kettle black because this guy thrives on this. If you've ever seen any of the Pierce Morgan stuff, this guy's on there quite a bit, and he's always taken down because he's so woke that he's not. But the first thing he does is point the finger at somebody else about being offended for someone else. I spent a five-minute monologue being offended on his behalf, mm -hmm. and I think that's ridiculous. Well, let me bring in Dylan, because Dylan uh, is also offended, and he happens to be a dwarf actor. Dylan. I've got to say, I, I was very curious when I saw what Peter Dinklage came out and said, because I did wonder who appointed him the head of the dwarf actor community. It turns out... That's what I'd like to know. This is somebody that has gotten all kinds of fame and fortune and everything like that based on his stature, if you will. And in the meantime, he's making it to where no one else can do the same. You'd think he'd be an advocate. He always claims about how hard he worked and how much he had to go through in order to get this fame and fortune. You would think that he would be guiding others in the same way. But nope. We go on. Uh, nobody did other than him. And the people who it seems to me have really suffered in all this are the six dwarf actors who would have expected to have roles in this remake in a massive Hollywood blockbuster who are now not going to have that experience, all the money, all the fame that may have come with that. What Actually, to be honest with you, because they've done this, it's not going to be a blockbuster. To be honest, I think that these, these people have kind of sort of dodged a bullet. What do you think? In fact, they're so woke, they're not woke anymore. Do you think these people would have been treated fairly if they had been put in there? We'll see. What is your response to that? So it's not a progression at all to me. My issue with it is exactly what you said. There are actors, dwarf actors, that live, that, that dream to be in a major motion picture such as this Disney remake. And now, because Peter Dinklage uh, said what he said last year. I was a little 
taken back by the very, very, they're very proud to cast a, a Latino actress as Snow White. Yeah. But you're still telling the story of Snow still White. Snow White, yeah. Seven Dwarfs. Sure. So take a step back and look at what you're doing there. It makes no sense to me. You're progressive in one way, and then, but you're still making that fucking backward. Oh, story of about- <laughs> seven dwarves living in a cave. To get, what the f*** are you doing, man? Now it's taken away. And it's taken away because of, quote unquote, progression and all that. And that's, it's not, it's not really, it's not right. Because these are roles made for actors of my stature. Roles that aren't ever really given. I can't go out for the, the Harrison Ford or the George Clooney roles because that's not for me. These dwarf roles are for people of my stature. Right. And now it's taken away? It, it, I don't feel that's right. And not only that, but now think about the additional stunt actors or body doubles or that. Now you're talking multiple actors right. of my stature that don't get these major roles. And why? What's the real? What's the reasoning? Because we're supposed to be progressive and we're supposed to just not view them as that? Well, you know the these irony. heroes. The all irony. of these dwarves, yeah. all of the... All of these, these dwarves took care of Snow White. Right. They all had characteristics, separate characteristics. They weren't these cave-dwelling monsters that, 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 that people speak of. It's, it's, they all had seven different characteristics mm-hmm. for seven different actors that, from my community. And I don't, I don't feel it's right that they got taken, I taken away from us. I completely and utterly agree with you. And the irony is that they profess these progressives to want to do this to protect you, right? They protect dwarf actors from... From what? What are they protecting them from? Again, do they expect them to get treated badly on the set? Do they expect them not to get the same pay? I mean, what is going on here? Or is it just their woke virtue signaling? Guy on the right is getting ready to tell you. From being, you know, somehow smeared. But you don't feel that way at all, Pierre. Look at the face on this kid. And I call him a kid. Everybody's a kid to me. I'm an old rocker chick. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> but look at this kid on the right here. He's like, oh, I'm just, I'm going to, I'm going to just dig right in there and, and, and double down on my bullshit. Peter Dinklage spoke up about this. And that was my issue. He had in the past no issue cashing checks that were made for dwarf roles like Elf and all of that. Hmm. Yes, he blew away the barriers when he did his his roles that weren't necessarily made for a dwarf, but the Elf role was made for a dwarf. Hmm. That check cleared just fine. So now that he's gone and done that, the progression of dwarf actors, he's, he, he, it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with me. No, I can, that this guy, sit- well, it literally means that he did all the work. He, in fact, he probably f- thinks this way. He's done all the work. He's he set the de- the, uh, uh, the 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 uh, the tone and everything like that. He's done all of this, and of course, like I say, I've heard him say on several occasions how hard he worked and how he came from absolutely nothing and almost like he sprouted out of the sidewalk and didn't have a place to live. Oh. <laughs> And, and, and now he's a very famous actor and a very, you know, uh, very influential, obviously. And he's not going to pave the way for anyone else. In fact, I'll guarantee you that he's probably trying to, or will try to spin this, or somebody will try to spin this as to the fact that, yes, we should be bowing down to him now because he paved the way for all of us, even though he doesn't want anybody else to get where he got. This is how I see it. Who is yeah. exactly what you said. What what gave him the voice for all of our community? Yeah. Why? Could, could Who died and honest. left him in charge of the Dwarf Kingdom? Let me bring jo- let me bring James back in. So when James. Piers Morgan is agreeing with you, I think you need to be concerned. I'll say that for the... So you're telling the Dwarf out to what he should feel. Definitely I mean, tr- hang on. And definitely what? <laughs> Boom! You're telling somebody what they should feel. First, you come out and tell somebody else that they shouldn't be uh, offended for someone else when actually he was just introducing the segment based on what the elf, or excuse me, what the dwarf said or wanted to say. They basically said the exact same thing. And this kid comes in and decides, oh no, this isn't what everybody means. I'm going to put my own definition on it and I'm going to be narcissistic about it as well. Listen to this. 
Having literally just lectured me what about speaking for someone in the dwarf community, Warwick Davis, you <laughs> now accuse a dwarf. I'm actor. not. No, it's not what I said. I said that if anyone, if you're siding with anyone, you've got to worry. Right. What I'd like to say actually is that I kind of mostly agree with what you're no, saying. No, no, and now you're. It's, Sir, that's just taking a pot shot there. No, I, saying, it, oh, yeah, it is. Absolutely. Like, Let him have it, little guy. <laughs> pot shot. Shot. But I do agree with what you're saying. I completely agree with your point of view, and I think that's really important. But I, I can... I... He just negated everything he just said by the butt. And he's going to try real hard to tell this guy how he should be feeling as a person who's persecuted or brought down and... Basically, they've, they've, they're the ones, their side is the ones that have uh, basically pushed him out of the way. Pushed him out of, out of a role that actually should, by all rights, be his. Or anybody in his community, if you will, if you want to call it that. He's a human being, just like everyone else. It's not, it really shouldn't matter how big he is. But again, you got certain roles, and these people have made the rules. You have to be such and such in order to play a gay people. You have to be, and, and the thing about it is, is it ceases to be acting. When you say only gay people can play gay parts, or only trans people can play trans parts, or only drag queens can play drag queen parts. Jeez, I, I bet uh, Wesley Snipes and uh, uh, the rest of them didn't feel that way when they made um, Tu Wong Fu. But then again... I only speak from my experience, and as a gay man, I know that growing up, I witnessed gay people being villains in movies when I was... Seven Dwarves are villains! What is he talking about? This is what I mean. He brings out all of this bullshit. And as a gay man, I can speak to the little people. I can speak to anybody. That's what he says. As a gay man, this is what he's saying. I can speak to anybody and speak about anybody that I want to. Okay. Yeah, that's true. Except, except for the fact that... the You being gay is not a reason. Just the fact that you have free speech. You can speak on or to anybody about anything. But... Everyone else has the same right to tell you that you're full of it, too. And that I think stereotypes are really important to... What stereotypes do you think And actually, represent? in the universe of Snow White, wouldn't it be better I don't feel, if dwarves I don't feel are... This is... Wait, wait, wait! Snow White is a universe now?! Snow White is a universe! Oh my god! How do we get there?! How do we get to Snow White's universe?! I would love to meet the absolute very first ever uh, um, feature length cartoon film that came from Disney. That would be awesome. And to meet all the little guys and, and, uh, and all of that too. And then to actually like really get mad at the wicked stepmother and stuff like that. But yeah, Snow White Universe. This isn't a part of this about the stereotype. Right? Yeah, see, he didn't even know what to say to that. <laughs> and the guy's looking at him like, what the fuck? This is about roles that were that were made for people such a, of my stature that don't have the chance to go out for other roles normally. But you just Oh god, I miss Billy Barty. He wouldn't be pussyfooting around like this. He'd be fighting tooth and nail for this shit. Hey man, we deserve this stuff. We, we, we fought our fight. We had to join the unions. We had to do all of this stuff. If you don't know who Billy Barty is, look him up. He was one of the biggest advocates for uh, dwarfs and midgets, as they called them back in the 30s and 40s, uh, to be in feature-length films, etc., etc., and to be treated equally as far as that goes, too. Billy Barty, one of my heroes. Thanks, so why you, you want to stop Dylan I getting not, a role in a Hollywood film? I am film. not going to get into an attack on a dwarf. You don't want a dwarf actor to... Uh-huh, see, I'm not going to get into an attack on a dwarf, even though that's exactly what I'm doing. And he, say, he claims that he's not attacking him. He's just letting him know how it should be. And again, Pierce called him out on that, too. You're telling a dwarf how he should feel about this. Who are you? And who is Peter Dinklage to tell anybody... Anything. Shame on you, dude. So no, I do. Role I do, actually. a dwarf part. Listen, a Why? dwarf can play a dwarf part, but I think it's important to change narratives that don't fit in today's society. And really... Which is... Wait, wait. So, he wants to just erase dwarves? Just, just... 
just just uh, uh, push them aside, even though they don't care what he thinks. And well, you'll see here in a minute. He he'll ask him, "What do you think I should call myself, Mister Self Righteous?" Is that narrative? Sir? It might be better What's the, if dwarves sir, just exist sir, in normal me. roles everywhere What's, because they do exist. What was so bad life. about the way? Yeah, see, Billy Barty would have so just what? barged in here, well, sir. That, listen, I'm not that's, here to talk that's about. What I, that's what I'm kind of wondering. Well, well, I don't represent tennis. Disney, but I'm just saying I think I see their point of view. What's their point of view? What was so bad about the depiction of the dwarves? Why are you What's so upset view? about a movie changing? with the times and moving. Why are you so upset about this? I don't have an answer for you. You just have to listen to me. But why are you so upset about this? You have basically erased these people out of the, the you know, out of the movie business. You, you have sensually picked winners and losers against people that would normally have gotten these jobs which by all rights and means should have gotten these jobs. Because I think that honestly, with great respect, really, There is real news we could be great, discussing. No, but this is real uh, news. Yeah, right. see, now he wants to change the subject all of a sudden. Okay, what are you going to talk to this dwarf about as far as real news? This is real news to this dwarf. You just screwed his himself and his family out of food. You just took food out of that family's mouth. You know, I'm one that likes to keep things simple, and that's the simplicity of it. That's exactly what's happening here. And he's condoning it. Well, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to do this. At every turn, he has tried to manipulate and get everybody to think like he's thinking and gets upset and his brain buzzes out when they call him out on it. He starts calling names as well. I'm not going to get into that. Oh, I'm too good to talk about that. You just have to believe what I say. And if you don't, you're the problem. <sighs> Dwarf actor who are now out of work because of virtue signaling idiots. But you're just like you. Everything has to be rewritten you are just to be Dylan inclusive. As a cheap when in shot. fact, it's not inclusive at all. No, you're using Dylan as a cheap shot to attack a wokey. That's. I don't. <laughs> I love how he calls himself that. Makes me wonder if this isn't some kind of an act as well. However, they are spewing the truth here about that. You're so woke that you're that you're eating yourself. You're like a snake that, eat, that finds its tail and starts to eat itself. And because it doesn't want to be wrong, it doesn't correct itself. So, this is why Hollywood is dying. Uh, this is why all of these writers and everybody else, because they've developed something that they've been telling everybody else that they are going to be deleted from. But it's funny how they were the first ones after they developed this AI uh, and all of these massive uh, computers and CGI capabilities and everything like that. What did they think was going to happen? They'll talk about this here in a minute, too. I don't think Dylan feels I'm using him as a cheap shot. What I would say about the wokey thing is this. Yeah, uh, I was going to say, if Dylan felt that you were using him, I don't think he'd be on here. And actually, because of his uh, plight here, he wants to be used for this. This is He's trying to stand up for this. <laughs> oh, you're just using him. Don't talk about him like he's not there. This, this blonde kid over here is one of the rudest people I've ever seen and they think that they're right all the time which he never is I have spent the last year listening to people tell me only gay actors should play gay parts yeah. only Welsh actors of Michael Sheen should play Welsh characters and so on and so on and so on yeah that's not acting that's not acting anymore you're placing someone that is already that character in that character it's no wonder that these uh, executives want to uh, take a couple of shots of some of these actors and then be able to use them in multiple films uh, yeah why deal with all the uppity bullshit and all the absolute extra money that they're having to spend on these people that aren't getting them any uh, more views or looks or anything like that when they do try to go on the internet, they suck, and nobody wants to see them there either. You know, they want to see their bit parts from Barbie and places like that. Do something! Entertain me! What have you done for me lately? 
Is there nuance? But the moment we have dwarf nuance, roles, which are the most call. famous <laughs> dwarf roles in Hollywood history, yes. then the only people apparently you can't play them are dwarf actors. Dwarf and I yeah. see there, it's a car. How much sense does that make? Again, they are so woke that they're not woke anymore. At all. And they're literally picking and choosing the winners within their own uh, uh, categories of victims. Which, to be honest with you, none of these people were ever victims. They've made themselves victims. And of course, if you turn yourself into a victim, predators will be happy to oblige. It's just the way it works. Taking woke so hypocrisy. It has not changed. It was a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn. Okay, so oh, like that really matters. They're not based on small little men. That because actually because they were small little men that they lived out in the forest, uh, probably away from eyes and uh, pokes and prods and bullshit from people like you. So firstly, they were drawn as dwarves. No, that is. But it's a story called dwarves. Dwarves. Well, they shouldn't, about they shouldn't be called dwarves. They shouldn't be called. They shouldn't be called dwarves. No, they should be called people with. They dwarfism. shouldn't be called. What's wrong with these? <laughs> <laughs> they shouldn't be called dwarves. Call them the definition of dwarf. People with dwarfism. Well, let's see what the dwarf has to say about that. They shouldn't be called dwarves. Nothing, but that's not the. That's the time. story. Dylan, the story apparently is you should, you're not so allowed like to call yourself dwarves. Apparently, Dylan, you're not allowed to call yourself, apparently, Dylan, to call yourself dwarves. Apparently. I would love to hear. What should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with. Uh huh. Yeah. As a blah 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 blah. When you go there, it's like, hey man, he asked you a direct question. Well, I think you should call yourself whatever you want to. Oh. Throw it back on the person that you're pointing the fingers at and pointing at, oh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't, uh, victimize you this way. And this guy's trying to say, hey, leave me alone. I'm not victimized. You're victimizing me. You have victimized me in this, doing this. By, by this absolute nonsense. There is circle logic that doesn't ever go anywhere and usually gets debunked almost immediately. But we'll go on. Kills himself a dwarf. That's, that's a great, dwarf. Good yeah. for you. I'm happy. So, that's so now, but now, sir, let me. Let me... <laughs> I'm happy for you. What a smart ass. How about let him talk? If you think he's so marginalized, shut the fuck up and let him talk. Let me pause that. So we, it, it shouldn't be called Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It Listen, just be I do not Snow want to get cancelled because so I think your point of view is more important than mine right now. But what I'm annoyed about is Piers trying to take a cheap shot at someone that believes in society moving forward. Yeah, I'm actually because because the society moving forward. Hmm. I wonder what would happen if we took away his oil products. <laughs> society moving forward. You really see that? If you really see that by taking away people's uh, traditions, then you're an asshole. You're allowed to go and live your own life, but don't be changing everybody else's life. That's not, that's not your job. And I would venture to say that a lot of people, and if you can look on the left here, resent you for this. Really, if I'm actually exposing the hypocrisy it's of the yes, you are, Pierce. Only gay people can play gay parts. Only trans actors can play trans parts. And so I, on and so on and so on. I think we will right get to, the to point, a place where right to the point, can play Snow White role. and the Seven Dwarves has to be cancelled because you're not allowed to have dwarf You actors. should be happy, Pierce, because it means that now you can play your dream role of Grumpy. I would love to play Grumpy. Oh, and that was supposed to be... <laughs> that was supposed to be an insult. Oh, you're so grumpy because you won't agree with me you won't let me have the last word well first of all it's pierce's show all right second of all you're wrong you're just wrong you and because you're gay doesn't mean you get to speak for everybody i loved all the uh, dwarves in that movie they were great Let me ask you guys, being a hypocrite guys, you'd love to play grumpy but you're taking your role away from a dwarf the factor. issue at hand no i would no he wouldn't no he wouldn't First of all, it wouldn't be some blockbuster or some shit like that. Second of all, <laughs> look at this kid's face. This kid is miserable. He is so angry and thinks he's so right and comes up with... 
That wasn't even equivalent to a dad joke. To play a fully grown grump. By, Quite happily. by taking away a role from a Let girl. me ask you, Dylan, uh, about the Hugh Grant play. Yeah, he tries to turn it around on everybody. He's the one that thinks that these dwarfs shouldn't have these jobs anymore. He's the one that thinks it's okay to take all of those roles away from every but everyone but one dwarf who was behind this bullshit to begin with. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to see what would happen if somebody would do that shit to him. Alright, they need a gay role. He they need a gay role. He goes out for a gay role and hire and they and, and, and mention something about diversity, so they go out and hire everything but a gay man for the role and give it to them and not him. <laughs> Who's crying now? Lumpa Lumpa, because again, it seems to me oh, we got a clip of him playing Lumpa. Let's have a look at this. You're a funny little man who's been following. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an um. Hugh Grant of all people. This is what the this is what SAG and whatever the other one is is fighting against. This this little piece of crap right here. Well, look, Park, in number one now. Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I started dancing now. Once we've started, we can't stop. You're the funny little man who's been following. Now they use CGI there, Dylan, to effectively make him into an Oompa Loompa dwarf. So now... What do you feel about that? Yes, sir. So now... Now we're not only using CGI and spending extra money and, and funding for these movies when we could just cast dwarves in that role. Mm. Whether it be one dwarf or multiple, like, like they have been in the past, now you're taking at least one role away mm. or multiple roles away for Oompa Loompa characters, that that's what they were in the past. And and why, again, I go back to my, my, my stance on these roles, roles in Hollywood in general, are very hard for people of my community to yeah. get besides the elf and the leprechaun and this and that. So why are they being taken from my community? That's my issue here. Well, it's you know why? You know why, Dylan? You know why? Because people like James here, they think it's progressive and inclusive. No, when see, in fact, it's regressive. That, that not it's that regressive is. and exclusive. Those are your words. Pierce, I, I... Dylan? Those are his words. No, those were your words. You like this. Look at this kid. <laughs> the face. Um, I can always tell. You can always tell. This guy has no filter if you look at his face. <clears throat> now, I don't know if he's just acting, <clears throat> This, all, you know, because a lot of times this stuff is acting, just, you know, but if this is for real, this kid is delusional. This person, James, whoever he is, is delusional. Pierce, I will, I, I will, I will agree with the mindset of it's not right. Uh, I don't know, James, James seems to be uh, in, in partial agreement with me. On the dwarf actors and the roles with uh, that that these should be, but I, I don't. On the other stuff, I can't speak on that. Obviously, it's a... no. He's not. He's actually trying to play both ends against the middle so that he looks the best. He agrees with the dwarfs, which he said, but then he also used a but. But we need to be progressive. So in other words, I know what you're saying, but I don't care. Simple as that. Once again. With the face expressions and the eye rolls and all this other stuff when they call him out on this stuff, you know exactly that's what he's saying. I Oh, I agree with you. I agree with, oh yes, you should have these jobs and everything like that. But we've got to be progressive. I'm surprised he's not asking, hey man, are there any blacks, bl uh, uh, black or Hispanic uh, uh, dwarfs that we can hire instead, maybe? Because I guarantee you it has something to do with the fact that this person is white as well. It's that I'm focused fully on the dwarf community really losing roles in these films. Yeah, I think and James starts with James all the starts SAG strikes, with all the with all the writer strikes. Yeah, and I was just say also too, talk about a minority. This is what he's saying. We are a minority that get a minority and I'm a minute minority of these jobs, and you're going to take them away from us. Again, keep it simple, stupid, and this is exactly what they're saying. We are a minority, which they are. That's, they call themselves a community. They've even had reality shows and everything like that. Little people and everything like that. So, yeah. Again, something 
literally had to be made especially for them to be able to act to be able to do these kinds of things. So again, you're you're asking a minuscule, minuscule piece of an already small minority to give up their jobs for diversity. And at the behest of one of their own. I guess you could call Dinklage his own community's race hustler. Yeah, good for you, Peter. Good for you. And well, this is, I, I do agree with you, and I think all I'm trying to say is that I think it's a nuanced conversation and there's a few different points in- How many more nuances do you need? This guy's coming straight out and telling you, hey, this is unfair! Oh, nuances and this and that and the other. They want to complicate everything to where you're so confused that you have to ask them, well, what do we do? And of course, they're guaranteed to tell you view that are valid and ultimately in my experience as a gay man the reason we're upset about gay people not getting gay roles in movies is because we're not getting straight roles as well and until we are it's unfair that the that's not true david hyde pierce um the other guy uh, in uh, how i met your mother um quite a few people that have come out as gay that have gotten straight parts quite a few people that have come out as gay that have gotten gay parts uh, how about uh, Harvey Firestein in uh, Birdcage and, um, let's see, uh, uh, Mrs. Doubtfire and those other things. Were those parts not made especially for him? Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't. You just don't. You need to look into your, some of your history. Look at some of... Uh, do you have any... Uh, um, idols or any people that you look from in the past that have actually paved the way for people like you who claim to be so put upon those roles are taken away from us so with in that respect what, what's that going to do with more factors because they can't play they can't play well, regular I think, size parts. i think peter dinklage's original point is that he would like to see more dwarves in films in general not just playing dwarves um so Okay, that's great, but that still doesn't explain why you took those parts away from people that should have had them in the first place. Sorry, not accepting that. In that general, easy. literally, I should, a, a person of my stature should be able to go out for the same as a six foot five, 200 pound human. But it's, it's just- Yeah, put him in a basketball movie. <laughs> put him in a basketball movie. Uh, put him in a, a, a volleyball movie. Put him in a swimming movie. Put him in a sports movie. How about weightlifting? It's not that way. And I'm okay with that. In reality, I'm okay with that. It's understandable to me. But when it's these roles that are made for people of my stature, yes. that's where I have the issue. You know what, Dylan? The movie, one of the great movies of all time, is called Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. If, if dwarf actors in Hollywood are not picked to play those roles, I don't know what roles you're supposed to be playing. It's, it's unbelievably I have, uh, patronizing that they've done this under the, the banner of so-called progression. You see the kid over here shaking his head? Oh, no, no, no. We've got to have these people. I don't care what this guy says. And again, he shows you that throughout the whole thing. Well, I believe in you, but we've got to have this. So in other words, he doesn't. He doesn't care what this kid has to say. He doesn't care what this dwarf has to say. Uh, he, he, he thinks that he's right and nobody else is. He tries to insult Pierce, which it rolls right off of his back. I don't understand how you try. You can't insult an exer unless they let you. Okay, and you can see just how much Pierce cared about what this kid was telling him. About, oh, you can be like grumpy and all this other. Yeah, get a life. Get a life. And it's not, again, like I said, these dwarves in that movie in the, or in this this uh, story aren't viewed poorly, I don't believe. No. They're all no. separate characters that yeah. are actually heroes for this lady. Yes. And they take care and they take this lady in. They save so her. So they're viewed so well to society. They save the woman. Now they're hardworking, they're wealthy, they, they are kind, they are generous hearted. It's hard to think of a more positive and, and sort of goal. They were also very emotional when she died. Very, very caring, loving 
creatures, if you will. Ooh. Narrative about any people oh. at all. Well, let's just go back to the 1930s, Piers. I think you'd be happy you there. Know what? You know what? Let's go back to the 1930s, when people like you weren't even allowed to be out on the streets. How about that? How about that? Yeah, you want to go back to the 1930s. This fairy tale was made in like the 1500s. Okay? Maybe maybe the 1700s. I don't know when. I don't know exactly when. But it's an old, 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 old Germanic. German. German people. White. Uh, Viking type. Not to mention the fact that the story describes her to an absolute T. Ruby red lips, blue black hair, snow white skin. That's the reason why they called her that. It's the reason why her mother, her stepmother, was jealous of her. She had a magic mirror that kept telling her that Snow White was the fairest in the land. The mirror wouldn't talk to the stepmother. The stepmother got jealous. I mean, come on, it was it's a a story almost like what's kind of sort of happening here on this on this screen here this blonde kid is so jealous that he can't get his point across that nobody's buying his crapola that he's trying to ruin people in the meantime trying to insult them trying to tell them well yeah i agree with you but this is how you really should act even though i'm just a gay man i'm i haven't lived your life but i'm going to tell you how to live your life a blank blackface. face would exist no, 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 it's not blackface. James, it's not blackface. And what you're now doing, because you know you've lost the argument. argument. <sighs> what do they call that? Sandman? Or uh, a straw man? Straw man arguments? He came in, he shot out at least three to four straw man arguments. The least of which, or should I say the most of which, is their big deal. Blackface, the same as blackface, the same as blackface. But not in a man trying to be a woman's case. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you see why I stopped listening to any of these? Any? I don't listen to anybody under 30 anymore. Barely anybody under 40. Because I don't know who's been teaching them this shit, but it wouldn't have been me. Uh, I don't know. In fact, I don't know hardly anybody's kids or people that act like this at all. No, there's no argument. And you know you've been embarrassed James, you you're not embarrassed. You are James, embarrassed. Just yeah. said. That doesn't James, hold exist. On, hold on, hold you're on, guys. We hold agree on, please. with each other. Please. Please. All right. You know what? James, you do agree with him James, now because you, you realize James, you the futility of your argument. James, you can't go and go, oh, you got to go back to 1930s. No. No, James, when you, if you agree with what I'm saying, I agree with what you're saying. I don't agree with anything say, that Piers. Yeah, here's say. the thing, Dylan. Dylan, just he to be said, clear. He literally just said yeah, what I D said, James. Dylan, just to be clear, he doesn't agree when I say it, but when you say it, he agrees. Because you're not and a that, dwarf. That right now, I'm not a dwarf. <laughs> he's not a dwarf, but he's trying to talk to this person. He has a dwarf on, and he's literally parroting what the dwarf said. But you can't say, he's telling him, you can't say this because you're not a dwarf. So I'm not going to agree with you, even though you said the exact same thing as the dwarf did, agreeing, you're agreeing with the dwarf, and I agree with the dwarf, but I'm not going to agree with you. You see how stupid that is? How absolutely asinine that is? And it's because he's not a dwarf. The man has the man on the show and is literally parroting what the man is saying. But because he's not a dwarf, he's not allowed to say the exact same thing that he's advocating for this person for. This this blonde kid is a an idiot. I don't care what his orientation is. I don't give a damn what he calls himself. He's an idiot. Despite any of that other shit. Not to mention the fact that he, he would throw that in there as a victim note. I'm, as a gay man, I'm, it shouldn't matter, okay, and as a gay man, you're not getting treated the same way as this dwarf, or probably as he ever had, so stop with that bullshit, you can't compare, you're comparing uh, nuts to sticks, okay, or uh, you're comparing uh, apples to oranges if you want to keep it that simple or be that cliche. Alright. <laughs> this is insane, though. 
No, but that right there is the hypocrisy of the woke brigade. Uh, did it? Okay. Yep. Well, so like exactly. Like I say, the man is literally advocating for this person, but he's not allowed to say the exact same thing that this person just said because he's not the same as this person. Absolutely asinine. Absolutely asinine. Not to mention the fact that if you did, and the thing is, is they're all three supposedly on the same page, yet this person here, the the the, the blonde kid, uh, won't agree to it. He still thinks that he's on another side. This is why you lose. This is why you're eating yourselves. This is why nobody listens to you. Let me, let me just say, did I not let go? Quickly, please. Pierce, quickly. Final word, Dylan. Pierce wrote, James. James, let me ask you this. So if it, if a. Well, why would you giggle at that? Why would you? <laughs> why would you fluff him off as he he's going to ask you a question? Again, rude, absolute rude. Writer writes a piece on what I'm saying. Is it wrong of them? Because essentially, that's the same as the words yeah. coming out of my mouth. What? Yeah. yeah, but you're not saying that I, I am a woke hypocrite, and Piers is, and that's what I disagree no, with. No, no, no. Because I'm absolutely not. <laughs> yes, you absolutely are. You absolutely are. You got two people that you agree with, but you're going to only agree with one of them because the other one's not that person or that, that uh, stature or whatever like that. You're an idiot. You're an absolute idiot. And it seems to me that your only progression in life now is to separate people because that's exactly what you're doing. They're saying the exact same thing. You seem to agree with it, but you're going to separate the two of them because they're not alike. And then not agree with one of them that has the same exact thoughts that you do and they do too. I'm almost speechless, but I'm not. This kid is insane. Or brainwashed or something. Like I say, it is TV, it is internet, it might just be an act. But, I don't know, with as much as people have been talking about it, and the fact that you get this person, like I say, he's not even, he's not listening to this guy. He doesn't care. He thinks that he should be able to tell this guy how to live as a dwarf. Just because he's a gay man, he's gone through this other stuff too. No! I guess next they're going to get a woman like th like me on there and he's going to say, as a gay man, I realize that you've been oppressed and that you only get 77 cents to the dollar and la 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 Yes, mansplain it to me some more, won't you? I, I, so when I'm saying I disagree, right, you, we're gonna, so we're gonna, nothing to do with your life. We'll leave it there. Just to be clear, Dylan, he disagrees with what I say, but when you say exactly the same thing, he completely agrees <laughs> with it. So and I'm annoying. James Barr, right to that a T. Uh, Dylan, yeah, it takes one to know one. He's so annoying. Yeah, annoying because he doesn't let you get away with your absolute crap. Fantastic having you on Piers Morgan Uncensored. You did a, such a brilliant job in highlighting why this is so ridiculous. Shame on Disney, and I hope you get another brilliant role yeah. very soon. I really do. It, well, I, I hope so too, and I, I hope that uh, this really kind of resounds with how my how I feel. Yeah. And I don't speak for the whole dwarf culture nope. and, and community, but this is literally well, Piers how does. I feel. Piers Morgan speaks for the entire Dylan, dwarf community. I've got to leave it there, Dylan. Thank, thank you. all of you. Thank you, Dylan. Shut up. No. See, again, he's turning it on, on on Pierce. Pierce had the man on the show. This is Pierce's show. But this blonde kid over here, oh, but Pierce talks for all of you. No, you've been the one trying to talk for all of us. But again, a deflection. This is one of the biggest narcissists I think I've ever seen in my life that has the nerve to be on TV and, and be called out like this and everything like that. But again, he's going to come out and, and yell over everyone else and yell over Pierce Morgan. It's Pierce Morgan's show. And tell everybody, oh, but Pierce Morgan talks for all of this guy. You know, this guy comes out. And look at the guy, look at the look on the dwarf's face. He's like, this guy just won't shut up, will he? He's like, yeah. He, he, he basically, you know, even though he says, well, I disagree with you there. and I agree. He's trying to make things, you know. Again, the woke mind virus has even captured the dwarf guy, even though he's complaining about this. Well, I don't speak for my entire community, but... But, and then the other guy's going to chime in and say, but Pierce does! And no, Pierce never claimed that. 
you're claiming that, and you actually were the one that was telling this guy how he needed to live, so yeah, no. Uh, not buying it, not buying it, James, sorry. I do hope you enjoyed my video today. I realize it was a little bit long, but you gotta see this stuff and, and, and talk about it as it comes out. Everybody was talking about the, the Seven Dwarfs thing. It's one of the things, again, I could care less about the movies. However, when I see injustice like this, I do like to talk about it. And especially when you have someone that speaks for everyone as a gay person or as another person. Speak for yourself, mister. Speak for yourself. You cannot compare being gay to being a, a, a dwarf actor that's literally getting kicked out of his own profession because people like you thinks it's progressive and okay. Again, who died and left you guys boss? Don't forget, every Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Time, the Talk To Me America show where the world wants to know what you have to say, so call me and tell them like it is. Also, please give us a like, a subscribe, a comment, a share, and a donation would be the ultimate. All my links are below. Click on some of them, will ya? Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. I wish you peace, love, health, and music always. And until next time... AMF!